What's going on, everybody? It's Carlos Brad here on the steps of Federal Hall, and joining me today is the CEO of Nerds On Site, Charlie Reagan. Charlie, how are you doing today? Just dandy, thanks. How are Thank you doing? I'm good. Thank you for coming on the show. Now, could you give me a little bit of info on what exactly is Nerds On Site? What do you guys do? Well, we're focused on the small and medium enterprise space, delivering technology across the board, so anything and everything a small player needs anything and everything. We'll walk into a company and we'll help take the mobile, eliminate paper. We'll also take care of all technology, including their mobile phones, their data plans, up to their networks, taking care of all their hardware and all of the, uh, <laughs> that's interesting. This is America, <laughs> this is great. All of their cloud systems and services, everything. They make one payment to us and we take care of everything. If you want to replace your your hardware every two years, it'll cost you this much a month. If you want to replace it every three years, price is down to this level per month. But we walk in hoping to drive out 20 to 30% of the present technology costs that SME face day by day. And we use normal speak, not nerd speak, to help them understand the value and necessity of some elements of technology. Very uh, customer centric, I yes. appreciate that. Yes. So, um, well, they have all the money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, obviously, that's why. Yeah. Beyond your just desire to help people. Yes. Desire and to it help is a yourself. thrill. Yeah. I mean, when a company breaks through and you know you've had a role in it, or they have, uh, you know, the, the number one black box on a budget is technology. Like the CEO or the C suite, many of them don't even know how to argue how to make a person justify that expenditure because they're not sure. And they also know that technology can hold the company at hostage if not properly done. Our job is to help them see that technology is nothing more than a hammer. It's nothing more than their taxi. It's a tool that can be used for effective purposes. You don't have to be an expert in it. You just need a team that can help make sure that your wish, your desire, your focus and intent is the one that's executed upon and not not some tech department inside your operation who may have a different agenda. So you like helping out people who have passion to yes. create their own enterprise. Very Do you much. think that nowadays people are scared to pursue their own dreams and create their own business? I fear that's a very strong word. Hesitancy, yes. Uh, there's been a couple of studies that show the word franchise is seven times more appealing than the words business startup. So today people are looking for more of an assurance that what they get involved in will lead to a successful outcome, right? 90, how many, 99, 97% of all companies don't make it past the fifth year or sixth year now. So they're looking for a step up and when they buy a franchise from us, which is very inexpensive, like 2,500 bucks, that's the whole deal. And we chose the 38 fastest growing cities in America to kickstart this franchise model in America. So when they buy in, they're instantly connected with all nerds. So they're, it, we call it a collegial network of experts. You don't have to be brilliant. We have more than 10,000 core curriculum training programs available for you so you can in whatever field you'd like to enhance your competency or skill set, you can do so and we'll cover it. We love to be a liquid learning environment for people and they can go in different directions, whatever they choose. But our job is to make sure that the client is sitting there and they think about technology and they go like this. <sighs> right, a sigh of relief. I don't have to worry about that. I got. George on it, I got Paul on it, I got Geraldine on it, that kind of thing. And that's what we're looking to develop culture-wise inside the company. Peter Drucker, a terrific management scientist, once said, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Culture eats strategy for breakfast. So our focus is to build a strong, intimate family culture that allows people to grow and count on others to support them and the strategy will take care of itself. You know, we have a few things in the back that we pay attention to, but culture is the thing that definitely allows people to prosper and grow. So what's your background when it comes to business or business administration? I'm a fanatic for enterprisers, entrepreneurs. Each of our nerds are called entrepreneurs, right? So short form, it's e-nerd. 
People who have a dream, who are looking to self-author and not follow the crowd, who know that a job is just like it sounds, J-O-B, just above broke, just over broke. They're looking for more than that. And they don't want to answer to somebody about their schedule. They want to control more aspects of their day-by-day -day life. And so those folks are electric. I mean, when they get on fire with desire, you can't help but sit around and spend time with them. You just get electric sitting close to them. So that's what we've been looking for in this space. Nowadays with technology becoming so much more available and when it comes to the control of it, the management of it, it's so much easier to control it from central spots. Our nerds are relationship specialists. In fact, one of the bylines in the company that I put in place, we don't service computers. We serve people with computers. So we're very much focused on the human engineering aspect of all business dynamic. And in nerds, that means making sure you know how your clients like their coffee. Don't bring a coffee with cream and sugar on the side. Bring it properly dressed. So even in our CRM, we have favorite beverage and how it's dressed. So that we're focused on the things that connect. And not to, we're not looking to be seen as a superior player in the technology business. We're looking to become a strategic partner in the build out of their enterprise. That's a good model. Now, I was wondering, you have services in nine different countries. Do you plan on having franchise services in all of them? No, we're very focused on America right now. I plan on spending the bulk of my time for the next two years at least, just in America, rolling this out. It may take us up to three years or a little longer to get to all states, but we're also focused on merger and acquisition. If we find a culture that fits with ours and they're looking for a leg up so they can offer more services and expand the opportunity for their team members, we're the player that we'd love to have a cup of coffee in. We call them cup of coffee conversation, just to see whether we can sit down and work out issues over a cup of coffee. We don't like taking people to court. We don't like being taken to court. So we're very much focused on the ability to relate, understand, and resolve and solve together. Well, my next question would have been, what projects do you have planned? But uh, you already laid that out for me. So is there anything else you could say that, could, uh, that current and potential shareholders can look forward to? This is the number one market in the world. Canada, we start twice as many new companies per capita than America does. And we have for about a decade. But America still has twice as many companies per capita as we do. So this is the target rich zone. And we're very excited about the opportunity that is sitting waiting. Now, we're, we're big believers in owning Mindspace. The default players for the, the F5000 companies in the tech field are HP, IBM, and the like. But when you ask the SME community, which again is 95% of the businesses registered in America, and 80 to 85% of all the new jobs created every single year, if you ask them, who's your default national tech partner. Nobody comes to mind. That's the space we're after, aggressively, to own. We want another three initial company, NOS, to be the one that SMEs immediately point to and say, those are our guys. Uh, you've really given a, a passionate drive there. I'm, I'm almost inspired. <laughs> Good. We need nerds. I, <laughs> maybe if uh, journalism doesn't work out. <laughs> all right, Charlie, thank you so much for coming on. Not at all. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate it.